The abortion battle continues to play out on Capitol Hill and it has a connection to the Commonwealth. 10 News reporter Abby Coleman's working for you to explain how a bill proposed by one Virginia senator would change abortion access. America continues to face rising tensions in a post Roe v. Wade world. Senator Tim Kaine just announced the Reproductive Freedom for All Act that would restore the states to a reality almost identical to when Roe was in effect. We kind of envisioned the bill as a little bit of a time machine to, to take us back to where we were before the Supreme Court in the Dobbs decision throughout 50 years of jurisprudence about reproductive freedom. The bill would codify women's right to reproductive freedom and contraception in federal law. We need to do it so that people's uh, basic rights of autonomy and making decisions about pregnancy don't completely depend on what zip code they live in. Reproductive legislation is currently up to the states. Todd Gacky is director of government relations for the Family Foundation. He says they'll fight legislation protecting abortion. We will do whatever we can to save as many babies from abortion with the ultimate goal of changing hearts and minds on this issue. Gacky says from his experience, Virginians do not want this type of legislation. It's really important that we understand that, at least here in Virginia, the, the Virginians do want some type of restrictions. They are not for uh, un unrestricted abortions at any stage. This is a bipartisan bill, but Senator Kane says he's working to gain more support. The more that America experiences life post Dobbs, the more the American public will come to realize that a national standard is the right answer. Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.